out of Luke. I know that indeed he has a lot of extensive boxing training before he uh, stepped into the Cron Gracie Jiu-Jitsu school and has been training yeah. pretty heavy MMA now for quite a while. Chase, what are you tracking with this man? Um, Luke, he is a very aggressive fighter. He's coming to try to, to hurt his opponent. He's looking to throw heavy hands and try to put him away. His opponent, Marcelo Acosta, walking out now, he is making his debut. He was also a high school wrestler and trains at uh, Brazos Valley. Very good team. Yes. Um, over there, over there with Bubba Bush, UFC veteran Bubba Bush. I've always been impressed by him and his guys. And uh, Marcelo, uh, he's an engineering student at Texas U Texas A&M. He's an Aggie. Yeah. He's and, an Aggie, uh, but a smart Aggie at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, uh, I was having this conversation with uh, one of the coaches of some of the guys here tonight the other day, um, talking about how the smart guys make great fighters. Uh, That's right. They, they pick up uh, stuff quicker they learn quicker and so i'm excited to see what he can do being a i mean make it being an engineering student at a major major university well, well listen guys i'll be honest here you, you introduced me as the voice of sports talk <laughs> to me this is where we're used to lsu and texas a&m absolutely being the fat last football game of the season we love when we've got louisiana versus texas and anything whether it's the longhorns or the aggies We've got Louisiana Absolutely. versus Texas in this one. It's a That's fun right. rivalry. I mean, even in MMA, when I first started uh, over a decade ago, that was something the ring announcers always loved to hype up. You know, the matchmakers love to set up the Texas versus uh, Louisiana guys. It, the crowd gets into it, and uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Well, you got to appreciate Marcella coming all the way over from College Station, Texas. I love these backgrounds of high school wrestlers. It's because it's burned in deep into them. They're going to rely on it when everything else leaves them. I can't wait to see how this pans out. And good for him, an engineering student at that's Texas right. A&M. So whether fights work for him or not, he's going to do okay in life. Yeah. That's right. Much better set up than I was at that age. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> All right, Luke Clement about to wake his way out. Both of these fighters at 170 pounds. I don't believe any issues making weight out of either no, one of them no, from what I've seen. No, that's one thing that was uh, surprising me is everyone made weight for this card. Uh, I don't even think it was close. I think everybody was in fight yeah, condition. Yeah, everyone was good to go. Uh, normally you got one, two, three. Big uh, crowd of uh, teammates walking out behind Luke. Look Lillard. at that, the deep, deep bench of Cron Gracie Jiu-Jitsu rolling we, we out We mentioned when, when these guys from the 318 make their way down here, it's a different level. You see it right here, Luke is the first from Crone Gracie to make their way to the cage tonight. All right, so far, two fights, two finishes. Let's see how the third one rolls out tonight. Have not been disappointed yet. Oh, two for entertained two. Entertained all the way and I, I think I think we're in for three for three. Yeah, if I was a betting man, I would put money on a finish. All right. Again, I'm anxious to see the style that Marcelo tries to go to. His first fight, we know he's been a high school wrestler? Is he somebody who wants to be more comfortable taking him on the ground? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I have the impression that he wants to swing and bang with Luke Clement, but we'll see, especially if he gets caught. He has that high school wrestling to fall back on. Luke, Luke is be. one of those guys who just loves to fight. There are certain guys who just love to, I don't care the situation, I want to fight you. Luke is that guy. That's, that's a great description of Luke Clement. That is absolutely beautiful way to describe it. I have no doubt at the 170-pound class this is going to be a fight. All right, let's hear the rest. As you can tell. That's exactly what you were talking about, Mr. Sean. Exactly. Different level when it's a guy from our neck of the woods. So I love watching debut fights. I love being someone who's the first person in the know about an up-and-coming fighter. I can't wait to see this. I can't see what Marcelo does for his debut fight. But here's the thing. When you're in Luke's position and maybe things aren't going your way, when you are the local fighter, how the crowd lifts you up, we've seen it make a difference many times. That's right. Both filling each other out, trying to see the response. All right, Luke's coach trying to talk him through. Okay, good one-two by Marcelo so far. Pu trying to push him towards the cage. Yeah, Luke Clement changing stances, uh, doing a good job moving Ooh. his feet. A uh, little level change there, circle out. Luke trying to give him the oh, okie-dokie right good there. Good right by Marcelo. Marcelo putting his back against the cage, leaning into him heavy to see how that wrestling background works out for him here. Oh, good use. 
Good use of the lever coming off there. Again, right still filling each other feet, out. Yeah. yeah, no clear advantage just yet. They're trying to see what the other guy's capable of. Right now we've just seen punches so far from both guys just trying to find the right distance. Again, the amateur fight. Marcelo pushes the pressure and trying for his first oh, takedown. Good knee. knee to the body. Oh, a knee and then an overhand. Yeah, Luke looks like maybe Ooh, a bit Good one-two by Luke. But, yeah, throw him back. He looks a little – I don't know if he's slipped or he's wobbly. Those knees of the body are nasty. Yeah, he's Marcello's gotta, knees have been good so far here in round one. Yeah, Luke's got to get his elbows a little tighter to block those. So, Luke's seem, so Luke seeming to have the hands a little low. Marcelo pretty high. A little bit of that forward Muay Thai. Front hip facing movements. Definitely seems to be comfortable in the clinch. Again, one-two by Marcelo before he puts the pressure in the grapple. Oh, another good right, and then a good knee. Acosta has caught Luke Clement with several big shots. Chase, yeah. right now I'm impressed by the knees by Marcelo. Yeah, he's, he's very uh, comfortable throwing those. Good, good knee back yeah, that's right. by Luke. Yeah, they're clinching each other and just throwing knees. I think this may be an endurance race in the end, ladies no and kidding. gentlemen. I would like to say I think Luke is looking for the takedown. I seen him reach for it once on that knee. I think he's trying to find the timing on that, whereas Marcelo, if you see, he backs out and then puts himself all the way in when he throws. Ooh. See what yeah. I'm talking right, about right again. there? And he's definitely headhunting right now. You can see in uh, Marcelo's Right now, eyes. good jabs by Marcelo. He's got him against the cage right now. Listening to their coaches. Searching for the underhook. Yeah, both of them pummeling. Ooh, good knee. Another knee. Has his hands on good Luke's Good reverse hips. by Luke. Good right hand. Yeah, good strikes uh, off, the, off the break. Marcelo, as your first fight, Chase, you're just trying to get through round one. Get those nerves out. Uh, he's looking good. He's uh, landed some big shots. I'm surprised uh, Luke's held up as well as he has. Some of his mm. knees to the body were very clean. A big overhand there. Big score. And Brock, I know we're early, but Marcelo does not look like this is his first fight. He definitely looks comfortable. You have to imagine with the amount of fighters in his gym, the amount of time sparring, this is not his going. Yeah. Luke Lament did land a couple of good jabs right there at the end of the round. Um, that was a, a close one. I don't know exactly how to score it, but uh, it looked like Augie Ramirez. I'm sorry, not Augie. Uh, Marcelo Acosta did a little bit more damage in there. I would say the knees were the difference. That was where the scoring comes in. He's going to try to repeat that. If you are in Luke's corner, how are you telling him to adjust? What are you telling him to change? That's a good question. <laughs> I, I personally would think, see if there's a takedown when he comes straight in like that because I'm noticing the hips are square. I'm noticing that when he throws that one, it's straight down the pike. Yeah, Luke, he's the taller fighter. He should have the reach advantage. He appears to have it, but he doesn't punch very long. Um, he's, he's a bit short and stepping in close when he punches. Um, that's not something you can really change between rounds if that's how he, if that's how he strikes. But I think maybe some low leg kicks. I think using that to help keep the distance and keep Marcelo Acosta at bay could be useful for him. Oh, instantly trying to come forward. Oh, going for the big shot. And you were talking about them short punches. Now, that's to generate the power, right? I yeah. mean, that's the reason why he does that. Yeah, he's definitely putting his body weight. He's, like, stepping forward with every shot, and he lands a big one there. Big. Oh, oh, Luke, oh Luke rock eats, Luke. Luke eats a couple himself. Those, those were heavy shots. Now, neither one seems too eager to take it down. Both of them seem to be wanting to oh. throw the punch. Luke ate another one on the jaw there. Yeah, see he, the sweat flying off of his head. He seems to be now losing the exchanges and the breaks. Yeah, he's, he's definitely he's definitely taking some damage, and once that starts happening, you're, you're more likely to get hit again as well. And you're right, no leg kicks being thrown. Both men standing hard, standing heavy, looking to headhunt. Yeah, they they want to knock each other out with some some head strikes right now. Um, All right. The, the couple times they looked for the takedowns, they were half-hearted, just uh, getting the clinch, and then they're letting go. Uh, to, guillotine to wrap. Oh, head pops out. Another yep. tie clinch, no shots thrown off that break. Another circle, fakes a leg kick. Luke's hands are dropping a bit. He's uh, got to be careful with that before he starts eating some more uh, heavy shots. That's right, especially when the other man is head hunting like Marcelo is. I think you have to be very cognizant of it. A little bit of a hand game. Oh, a shoot for a single leg takedown. Yeah, this is the first serious takedown attempt we've had so far. Maybe he just wanted to see how – how much conditioning and cardio his opponent had. Wanted to see what he had left in the gas tank. Flipped him again and off the break as well. Luke's uh, taking some tough punches here. 
That's right, Luke definitely seems to be not having a game plan when coming out of the clinch. You want to see something different there. You definitely want to see maybe him at starting the engagements. Yeah, uh, Marcelo Costa has his timing down right now, and he's called him with, uh, I mean, several strikes in a row. Uh, Luke's, I, I think the damage is adding up, and it's, it's making it tougher for him to find where he needs to be in this fight. All right, deep breaths from both men. They've been headhunting all night. We'll see how it continues here, see if there's a change. Luke trying to keep his opponent away. Marcelo, Marcelo will not with the be pressure. Denied. Absolutely. He has kept it up. He's going for that single leg again. That definitely seems to be in the game plan. Again, looking way above his experience, his first fight. He looks very, very crisp in his first fight. Yeah, good job on Luke with the underhooks uh, yep. stopping that Again, takedown. another powerful knee, knee. Knee to the uh, groin section there. That's yeah. right. Now we're going to get That'll stop the fight. That, uh, that might be a bit of a – Fortunate thing for Luke. I mean, he, yep. was, ta he was taking the worst. Needed end a of, break. Yeah, he was taking the worst end of those exchanges. Uh, it's be a little bit of time for him to recover if, if he wants it. All right, deep breaths from both men. I think they've now worked Luke. themselves up at this point. Yeah, Luke says no thanks. Let's uh, let's keep going. That's right. Had more time. Said he's ready to fight. Yeah, he took about 15 seconds of his five minutes. Oh, he's going for look a big at left, but again, hunting. big uppercut by Marcelo. All right, now yep, we, we, we now made Mar it through two rounds. Now that was the end of round two, but Marcelo's hands are starting to drop now. It seems he's definitely uh, he's definitely wearing down a bit. I think he's ahead in this fight, and Luke Clement probably needs to hunt for the finish. And, and Brooke, uh, Brock, right now we are cardio. As you mentioned, the hands start to drop. This is where the cardio is at the most important in round number three. And I got to tell you. For Marcelo's first fight, I'm incredibly impressed with what he's brought to the table through two rounds. Very, very impressed, very clean, and, and seemed to almost be methodical. Round one, shots to the body. Round two, head hunting and takedowns. Really pressing on the gas pedal, checking your opponent's defenses. You know, don't go for the takedowns in round one. You know the guy's still fresh. You know he's going to defend. Wait for the later rounds. Yeah, and he, uh, I like how he didn't overexert himself hunting for the takedowns. Uh, Luke Clement did a good job getting the underhooks and kind of just initially defending them. And Marcelo Costa didn't burn himself out chasing them when they weren't there. Chase, when you're down 0-2 going into your third and final round, what's your strategy? I mean, you have to go for the finish. Like, that's like obvious rule number one. Um, the details of how you're going to do that are important. Uh, his coaches, I mean, Luke starting aggressive there. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a good way to potentially yeah. do it. Put the pressure on him on Marcelo. Great defense, and now he's hitting with the one twos. And when you're zero and two, let's just go ahead and say it: you can go for broke. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah Luke's definitely uh, feeling it though. I mean, after that initial exchange, he's, he took a deep breath and uh, kind of reset. But he's got to find his range because he's. He hasn't landed too cleanly that often on Mar Marcelo Costa. He's got to be able to find that range. Hopefully his corner was able to give him some advice on how to do that and something they saw. Yeah, Luke switches stance here. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to maybe time yeah. uh, Marcelo Costa coming in. His, you can hear his team saying now there we or go. never. He's, well, Caught the leg he's kick. He's got the leg. Can he get him to the ground? No, had to break it immediately. Marcelo yeah. immediately. Another good left. Turn. Another good left. He may have found a range. Yeah, Marcelo oh, instantly to going the to the clinch trying to change that. Good job circling out by Luke yep. Clement, but uh, he's getting – Ooh, good knee, but Marcelo going for that single leg. Marcelo definitely seems yeah. to have that single leg in the game plan. That's the third time he's hit it exactly like that. Ooh, putting the pressure, pressure on him against the shots. cage. Ooh, good left. Yeah, we hear those thumping. That's right, hear him on the cage side, heavy-handed men, both of them. Luke known for his power, though. Can he get a little bit of range to hit one of those left or right? Marcelo, but again, Marcelo all aggressiveness against that cage. Taking the body shot, taking the head shot, whatever he feels is open, he's going to take it. He's trying to hand fight right now. Yeah, great pressure by Marcelo yeah. Costa, landing some shots when he can, but not, uh, not just throwing them and giving up the position either. Well, Marcelo's got him up against the cage when you're up two rounds. This is exactly where you want him. Now he's going for the double leg. Yeah, that's right. He's going to try to put it away, try to ride it out. I don't think he's looking to finish as much as he's just looking to no, take his no, win and Luke, go. Luke needs not offense. He, there you go. That's what Luke needs. Yeah, he had to separate. Luke needs to play offense. Yeah, he took some big punches there. Kind of you can really see his nose bleed a little bit. Yeah, he really opened up with those shots against the it's cage. It's all good right knee, but Marcelo continues to push the pressure. That's right. He's probably got the better gas tank at this point considering he's been leaning on his opponent all night. And there's the takedown First falling into top half guard. If you're Luke, you got to get back to your feet. 
And your only way pretty much is knock out or tap out at this point. Yeah, That's right. He's, he's running out of time. I'm not exactly sure how much we have left, but it's it's very little time left in this fight. That's right. And bottom half guard, very small yeah. options for submissions. And Mar Marcelo continues to hit that body. Marcelo looking to pass, actually. Look at that hand on the knee, moving it over. Marcelo might no. actually, I may have to take my words back, Marcelo may be looking for the finish here. Yeah, he absolutely is. He's uh, trying to rain down some punishment from the full mount. Well, well, he's, he is, but I think we're, I think Luke's going to survive. Well, he's got his. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the arm wow, triangle hammer, there. Oh. Hammering down left and right. Oh, that was very close to being What stopped. an impressive debut. Uh, Luke showing from his our frustration. From Marcelo Acosta. Yeah, Luke uh, definitely frustrated with himself dropping that fight, but I mean, you learn from it and you come back better. Brock, that did not look like somebody making their debut with how he was able to pretty much have the advantage from round one. I think that might be the theme of the night with these amateur fights. We, they're amateurs, they're making their debut, but the level of competition that comes into MMA now, they are starting at an early age. We find someone with a background, whether it be in wrestling, and then they build upon it. Well, and, then, and Luke is probably going to take his first loss to drop his record to one and one. But one of the things, and everybody who's watching this right now on Fight TV knows this, uh, outside of Khabib, you don't finish undefeated no. in MMA. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it is. A guy who might be 500 or above is a really good fighter. That's, that's right. the beautiful thing about this sport. That's right. MMA math is a funny math. I mean, you, you have seen it before, even at the top of the fight chain, where number seven beats number three, and no one saw it coming. But the way matchups work is how it goes. And when you're Luke, and you're this early in your MMA career, you just find the game plan, you take what you found, you work it forward, and then with Marcelo, he now knows what it feels like to be in yep. the cage and continues forward. So he really filling himself in there, and as he should, he uh, put on you, a great you show. He win the fight, right? Yeah, the victor he, he goes looked, looked great doing it. And, and Chase, one of the things that impressed me about Marcelo was, man, he had some devastating knees in That's that right. fight. And, and, and I want to say again, I am impressed by the methodical use. Them knees were yep. early. Them knees were to the body. They were very much it so will wear you down out. eventually. It, yeah. Very surprising to me. Uh, knees are something that tend to develop later into a fighter's career. Um, typically, I mean, you get your punches first, kicks later. Knees are one of the, the last things I think a 